the next one I think is Day of the Deltics, isn't it? Oops, that's the one I want. Yep, Day of the Deltics. Switch that onto there. And just for the uh, the giggles, boom! You know what? It's bad weather again. Seems to be a common theme tonight. Welcome, driver. The Deltics are waiting for you in Eastern Breakwater 2 Reverse. Down there, you will need to change the points in the yard, though. Okay, so we're a haul, and we're going to be hauling <laughs> these uh, Deltics. I deserve extra credit, I think, for that. That was excellent. Um... What have we got to get to? Up there. Take the uh, the shallower run. And up there and across that one. And that gets us in. That gets us in. We just have to reverse our way into Eastern Breakwater now. Floated Goblin 2, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. There is a 10 limit actually, and we're going down a hill for this little bit here, so I'm just going to be a bit gentle as we come down. That was hallable. <laughs> Hallable. Oh dear, oh dear. All we need now is the Dell, because we can obviously, m we've already got the tick. Slade Hall. Okay, I've got that one written down, even Stevens. BR423, thank you very much. Alright, we're on the bottom now. I really need to get some proper steam controls for this thing, so that the gauges, so that I can, uh, I can see what's going on without using that giant HUD. we're taking this one actually. Key Cree 30. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oh, the F5 HUD's a good shout, actually. I keep forgetting, although it's not much use in this in this background. Ten mile per hour speed limits for the win. I'm going to ease it around this corner. I don't know, but this corner looks a bit on the squeaky side.
You net zero, mate. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Moggy, you're right, needs a bronc. Falmouth Branch is a really good, really underappreciated route, uh, Francois. It's um, it's not particularly long. I mean, it's, it's as long as it needs to be for the route, but it's not a particularly long route. You've got this fantastically complicated yard down in uh, Falmouth, all over the docks with so much shunting potential. Uh, and then you've got the main line, or the, the branch line that goes up to Truro here, which is on the uh, on the main line. Stop first. <laughs> Almost got that wrong. Yeah, for those of you that disappear as soon as you think, as soon as you've won, um, you're going to lose out if you don't tell me what you want because you only got 48 hours to claim. Right, couple the Deltics. Done. Right, proceed to Falmouth Approach Three, um, which is coming back out where we were. We need to come to there, which is that one, and we need to stop there. Okay. <coughs> nice whistle. Uh, my back hurts one. Yeah, if you go to raildriver.com, you can find out uh, information on this bit, the bit at the bottom is the controller. These bits up here don't work with the game by default. I've written my own code to do it. They're actually flight sim gauges. But the uh, rail driver controller you can get. Alright, thanks ABD Steve, thanks for joining us. Good weather for screenshots, is it? Accelerating, we don't have to go too fast. We're only in a 10 mile per hour speed limit. We've got a uh, a short, sharp climb to go. Hey there, my thoughts. Welcome.
Uh, I'm probably not going to be streaming tomorrow night, Francois. Um, I've got family coming down. It's going to be a bit more difficult, uh, and I won't have this machine. Um, so I'm probably just going to skip tomorrow night. Um, I'll try and record a few videos from Insomnia and then put them up over the weekend. What, Jack wants to switch the other side of the engine? Why do you want to switch the other side? So you can see the platform up there. Uh, my thoughts. What is the uh, what is with the outfit? Um, what is with the outfit is that um, we passed 5,000 um, subscribers on uh, on YouTube, and I just thought a bit of silliness was in order. To be honest. That's a steep gradient. Pushing tons of steam through the uh, cylinders to keep to get it going up that hill. Right, I'm going back in the driver's seat. Thanks, cop lop them out. Insomnia first gear sims. It's the uh, biggest game show in the UK. It's uh, Insomnia 56 is uh, on on sa Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think Monday possibly, but certainly Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's at the Birmingham NEC. Right, we've got to stop here at Falmouth Approach. Thanks for you too. I'll take a look. Thanks, my thoughts. Couple of Pamel, this is third scenario. Right, drive to Truro up platform, avail signals you're following a stopping passenger service, so be vigilant. Boo. That means it's going to be harder. Where is it? Got an approval to proceed, so I'm going to go ahead. Press tab, we are good to go.
That's better. So we're on a 1 in 79. We're accelerating. We're going up the hill. Cheers, Kaza. Thanks for joining. Reaper Great Northern, oh that's interesting. Is red PSI a concern? Not necessarily. Um, red PSI just means the boiler pressure is going down and sometimes you want to, if you're going up a hill, then your boiler pressure going down is not necessarily a problem. Um, but it is something to be aware of. Obviously if it's going up that's great, but it could also mean that going up is wrong because you might be gaining boiler pressure when you don't need to. The colour change is more just to highlight it so in the corner of your eye you can see whether it's going up or down. Right. Continuing to push our way up then. Brody. Ten miles to Truro. What's up next? Uh, in Edinburgh, Glasgow, in the um, oh, the class thirty-seven English, Welsh, and Scottish. a little bit. At least having taken the power off the water is uh, going up quite nicely now. Trying to see what that next signal is. Where's the next signal? I'm going to start slowing down just in case.
Good, we're green. Another green light. Take advantage of the uh, the flat here to get sped up as much as we can before it goes up again. Cheers, Stargate King. Alright, let's stop putting water in. Ease that regulator forward. Cut off forwards. Is it speeding up the Costica's boiler pressure, but I can live with that. We haven't got to go up that far. You see the route map, certainly. So down here we've got the, um, the the complex dock area with the railway around the dock and Falmouth uh, Station. The line then continues up here until you get to Truro, which is on the, um, the Great Western. No, it's, not, it's not the Great Western main line, but it is the main line in the Great Western area. South Devon main line. Yeah, that makes sense, Joe the Fish. How does the giveaway work? The giveaway works when I, I'll give you a keyword, you then type that keyword into the chat. Uh, everyone that types the keyword gets entered into the uh, the uh, the competition. And um, oh, uh, and then um, I'll tell the computer to pick a name at random, and then that person, uh, whoever wins, um, can pick a prize. Cold, uh, the uh, water going on again. Type in the keyword and someone else wins. <laughs> Gently speed up a bit. Falmouth Ranch is quite an old route, but it's a definitely a good one. Yeah, I don't think the scenario is 10 minutes. It said in the game it was about 40, which is probably more like it. And they've got six miles to go.
Good night, Kaza. Right, distance signal is on, so we need to be aware of that for the uh, when we get to the uh, the stop signal ahead. Right card, do you run with SSAA? Because if you do, I've heard some people saying switching SSAA off tends to fix the map. I'm not sure if I believe that, but I thought. Okay, we've got a uh, green. Light there. One more to identify, yeah. This one's red as well. I am very good, thank you, George. How are you? All right, let's have a look at the map. So we're in here. Have we caught up with the one in front yet? Yep, we have caught up with the one in front, but we should get the clearance to enter that long block in a minute. There we go. Right, speed limit is currently 30, we're about to go up to 40. We're going downhill at 1 and 60, 1 in 172. Right, so 3.6 now to Truro, so not too far away.
one in 75 Bradian. We're accelerating, but it's costing us boiler pressure a little bit. Uh, first gear sims, I'm afraid I've got no idea. Um, I would um, go back to the ticket with all your issues and request an update. We're slowing down and we've reduced the amount of damage on the boiler. Coal is going in, so hopefully we can get the uh, fire mass back up. We're almost at the top. Although that said, that looks like a dirty great tunnel. Uh, first gear sims, yeah, if I drop the cutoff back then the speed drops like a, um, drops big time as well, so I'm trying to balance between the two at the moment. The your problem is the fire mass is too low, so I'm trying to get that up, but I can't do that in the tunnel. That's better. We're almost at the top now, so a little bit of speed loss won't be a problem. Am I streaming tomorrow? No, Jack, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I won't have this machine and I'll have uh, um, family visiting and, and so on and so forth. So. Getting ready for insomnia. Uh, it's not with the regulator open that's the problem, uh, call train, it's the firebox door. Make sure the firebox door is closed when you go into a tunnel. Alright, we're coming into a 30 limit. We're only one mile away now from Truro, so we're on the approach in.
get rid of Wi-Fi box cloud closed in tunnel. Essentially, when you go into a tunnel, there's a big drown draft happens in the over the chimney here, and it pushes the um, air back in. You get air going back the wrong way through the firebox, and it blows the, all the coal and everything, all the fire and everything, back in and melts everything inside the um, inside the cab there. Uh, hence a fatal blowback. Speaking of which. Red light on the left, sorry, green light on the left. Coming into Churro up main platform now, this is our home signal. So we're just going to pull in now. Uh, GWR blowbacks, I don't think you can pre uh, prevent them with the blower in the game. Sure, that works. In reality, yes, you can, because the blower keeps the draft from coming in. But all right, this is us back at Truro. We've just brought all this stuff from the docks. Would it hurt if you were in a fatal blowback? Yes, hence why it's called Fatal, Joe. Uh, it basically melts everything in the cab. Because <laughs> you get all that really hot stuff from inside the firebox in the, in the in the cab all over drivers and anything inside there. Right, well done, driver. You've completed the task. These Deltix will be powered up later today. Excellent. Right. Um, next one then is uh, oh, it's giveaway time, isn't it? 